it's the Catholic CEO, Henry Katarna. You know, one of our projects is the Catholic economy. We're very supportive of the idea of Catholics banding together to do all sorts of things that will give us economic strength and allow us to resist the culture. Uh, we've done some videos on this and there's plenty of materials and information going on inside the Catholic economy website and platform. So check it out, take a look. During Lent this year, I was reading and meditating on the book of Jeremiah and the Lamentations of Jeremiah. And so going through that, you know how it's structured. It's, it's structured almost antiphonally. You've got the failings and the sins of God's chosen people juxtaposed then with repentance and God's mercy and benevolence. And then it goes back to, again, the people of God fell, they sinned, they offended, and then God once again shows mercy. And so you've got this antiphonal kind of work that goes on for 52 chapters, plus five or six, I think it's five of uh, Lamentations. And so a couple of the famous quotes that I recall, you know, all her persecutors have taken her in the midst of straits. Her adversaries have become her lords. All her people sigh. My children are desolate. The enemy hath prevailed. The little ones have asked for bread and there was none to provide it. And it goes on like this. It made me think of how in our new search for a Catholic economy, where did we go wrong? How did we mess up in the last decades? I'm not prone to issuing negative videos on things. As you know, I'm trying to be positive and uplifting all the time and look forward to a plan, a way that we can prevail against the culture by restoring a Catholic economy. So how did we go wrong? Lamentations and Jeremiah made me think of this. We messed up on social media. We didn't put our voices forward. We messed up on the life issues contraception, abortion, euthanasia. We behaved more or less as the culture behaves. We messed up on gender issues, fluidity, attraction, same sex. We messed up on the cultural issues. We let it become a woke culture and didn't stop it, even though we represent a high proportion of the population. Catholics are a high percentage of the population in the United States and in Canada. We messed up in politics. We let people come into office who were inimical to the Catholic faith. We bought into political correctness. Whatever your view on the 1% is, we didn't help on that issue. We messed up on entertainment, movies, contrary to the Hollywood production code that was extant in the 40s and the 50s, where Catholics actually controlled the content of what came out of Hollywood. We've messed up on that. We allow media, movies, entertainment, television, the being entertainment companies to change the morality and ethics of what we see for entertainment. We literally watch people commit mortal sins for entertainment. As one priest told me recently, that's what we do. So one could despair a little bit. One could despair a lot because we really haven't done well as Catholics. And I'm not here to criticize. I'm here to mention that in my reading of Jeremiah and Lamentations during Lent, I could see that we have fallen, but I could see that God has mercy and that we can rise again, band together, get stronger, resist the culture. It's not inevitable that the way it is today is going to be either getting worse 
or remaining the same. It's not inevitable. Our Lord promised us that the gates of hell will not prevail. And so my thought for today is to leave on a positive note. We're trying to help build a Catholic economy. We're inviting everybody to join us who is of goodwill and who wants to do this and who recognizes where we are today. Let us not dwell unnecessarily on our faults and how it came about, how we might have let it happen, whether individually or as a societal group, as an entire Catholic group. But let us positively look forward to creating a Catholic economy where we turn all these issues around and make the changes necessary. That's my message and my plea for you today. It's the Catholic economy, Henry Katarna. Thanks for joining me today.